Do you want a day without knee pain? I'm Roland Liebscherbrock. We're going to do a routine for 20 minutes with the most efficient exercises for knee pain. And suppose you want to do this every day. In that case, you can download a motivational calendar here, which will further help you do your exercises regularly. We're going to start right on the mat. Please sit down and bend your left leg so that your lower leg is parallel to the left edge of the mat. Walk your ankle as close to the mat as possible and your buttocks as close to the heel as possible. But if you can't get down there at all, if it may look like that, that's fine too. You'll always practice in your position that you can reach. And now the exercise is going to start and we're going to get as close there as possible. You notice by the tension here in the thigh, and in addition, you're now pulling your belly button back. And we're going to take the torso as far back until you get to your limit. This is where you're going to feel the stretch. This is where one of the biggest culprits of your knee pain, which is the shortening in the quadriceps. And most of all, one muscle from this quad, they're going to be stretched nicely. Pull in your belly button and then you'll immediately notice how the stretch becomes even more effective, even more to the forefront. Just do it in such a way that you can just bear it. So a smile must be possible. It may be slightly tortured, but a smile must be possible, just barely. And now you go further into this stretch. Increase it more and more. And now, please start and press your left foot against the mat as if you want to stretch your knee. Press harder, a little harder, and let go again. And go further into the stretch. Again, now pulling your belly button back. Pull in, work your way right up to the limit, as close as possible, because the closer you are to the limit, the better. And then you tense again as if you want to stretch your leg. Let go again and go in further and come out again. Move very slowly, very carefully, okay? And now we do the same for the other knee. You go backward again. Notice which of your knees has the biggest problems. You will notice where you are less stretched. Walk backward. And if only one knee hurts, train the other one at the same time so that it never gets pain. Yes, one as an acute measure and the other as a preventative measure. Always go further back. And remember, if this position is much worse because it's much more awkward, don't stress yourself. Do it as far as you can, and that's fine. But always try to get a little bit um, more into the stretch. And that little tap on the edge of your range of motion, that's the training ultimately. So that's what's necessary for something to change. If you don't tap there, nothing changes because the body then thinks, well, the way I am is good. I don't have to add anything new or rebuild. Keep going backward. Trigger the stretching here. And now you press your foot hard against the floor. Press even harder and a little bit more. Do real strength training. And you release the force again and release it. Go further into the stretch and also breathe nicely. But always watch your limit, that you're just still in the bearable range. Yes? And press down again and press a little harder. Tighten here with where it stretches. Really tighten. 
really tighten up against it and let it go loose and keep going back into the stretch. And then slowly move back out. And now you need an arm extension, ideally. Yes, so a towel or a belt that is knotted accordingly or our stretching strap. Yes? And we'll do that first around the left foot. And it's important, especially if you don't have shoes on, that the strap is placed around the base of the toes. You fully extend the knee. If you notice that the foot is slightly high, you place the other one somehow a little bit underneath. Support it a bit so it doesn't wiggle around, but only if the knee is overstretched. And then you first pull the foot nicely back, and then you notice the stretch below, just below the knee, the back of the knee, in the calf. And then you go with the straight body even further forward, and then you notice it also stretches in the back of the knee now, and even a bit above the back of the knee. And you have to completely celebrate that now, that exercise, yes? Because that's the exercise that really has a lot to do with you having a day without knee pain. That's why we're doing this. Keep pulling them forward. And now pull or push your foot forward away from you and pull back with your torso. But hold on to the strap with your arm so that your body doesn't move. A little more. And let go again. And when you let go, go a little further into the stretch. You can feel the back of the knee again very clearly. I'm sure of it. Maybe wait a little longer. And the more we go forward, the more you might notice the thigh on the back. So the back of the thigh. Keep going forward and then push again. The foot wants to go forward and the torso wants to go back. Keep pushing more and more. Release it. Keep going forward again. And slowly come out. And now, right foot the same. Put the strap around the base of the toes, so a little bit at an angle. If that's uncomfortable for your feet, you better put on shoes, any kind of athletic shoes. Then the strap does not slip so much and the foot is not so directly involved. It's cushioned a bit by the shoe, yes? You go further and further into the stretch. First, you pull the foot towards the knee. Then you notice it in the rear upper calf. The posterior calf is good. We are still looking for the anterior calf. Keep going, keep going, and also bring the torso a little forward. Do you notice? Oh, now it's stretching really hard into the back of the knee again. This exercise is the most unpopular on this planet. That's why it's also the most important one on this planet. And then we push the foot forward a little bit. The foot goes a bit forward. And the torso wants to go back. Foot forward, torso wants to go back. Release again. Pull the foot further back. Come further forward with the torso. And we breathe in there a little bit. More and more. Inhale deeply, exhale deeply, and keep coming forward. Just stay inside the comfort pain threshold and then tense up again. The foot wants to come forward. The foot wants to come forward. The torso wants to come back. And counter tension more, counter tension even more, increase strength. 
Think of it as strength training. And let loose and continue forward with the torso and further back with the foot. A little bit more and slowly come back out like this. Here's what we're going to do. If you have the strap, put it on. Put it around once and around again. And now go into the prone position and then grab the strap directly with it. It's best to go in like this with your thumb. And now, while you're in the prone position, pull your foot towards your buttocks. It's important to keep your groin as close to the floor as possible. And keep pulling. If you like, you can also raise your torso a bit by supporting yourself with your right forearm. And then you notice that the stretching increases. It doesn't have to be, but this way you can strengthen the whole thing even more. And now you go a little bit further into the stretch. Always go a little further into it. Use your breathing well. Remember, don't bend at the hip. You bend your hips, you will immediately notice that the groin slightly lifts off the floor, and this should not happen. Therefore, try to press the groin properly against the floor so that you have full contact. And go a little further. Increase the stretch a little more. And now, try to extend your leg. Try to extend with all your strength and hold the strap with your hand. And extend even more. And extend even more. And extend a little more. And let go and go further into the stretch. You realize now it goes a whole lot further through this counter stretching. And you do that again. You tense again as if you want to extend your leg. And stretch some more. And a little bit more. And a little bit more. And a little bit more. Release it and keep going into the stretch, going further in. And now, slowly come back out. Now, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. You're going back into the strap. If you don't have the stretching strap yet, it doesn't matter. That's where you use a towel or a belt, like I said, right? So now I'll go to the other side, as you can see. First, you lay everything out here and get into the prone position. Reach in with your thumb, stretch or bend your knee, or place your thigh along the mat, and come up a little with your upper body if you like. And keep pulling your foot toward your buttocks. Concentrate on the groin. Press the groin, the right one, very firmly against the floor. And keep coming forward with your hand. With your right hand so that the stretch is increased. Keep breathing yourself in. And stretch with your leg now, as if you wanted to extend it. Tense, and you want to stretch it. And a little more, and a little more, and a little more. And let go and keep pulling into the stretch. And again. You tense against. 
and tense some more as if you wanted to extend. And a little more. Of course, you have to be able to hold it with your right thumb. If not, then grab something else so that it works better. But the thumb is normally very strong, and if you put the strap directly into the thumb where the joint is, there is hardly any lever arm. You can hold it well. And let go again, and again, go further into the stretch, and then we slowly come out again. And now you take our knee hero, or a few books if you don't have one yet. And now it's about that. I'll put it a little bit crosswise. Now it's about fully extending the knees. Fully extend, and then come forward with the pelvis. The left foot balances that. And then you notice, the more you bring your pelvis forward. If you're standing too wobbly, take a chair or hold on to the windowsill or something and keep going so that you feel the stretch in the calf. At the top, just below the back of the knee. Keep going in. Because that's now getting all the pressure out of the calf, which is pulling the thigh down. By the way, the knee hero, click up there and you'll have information about the knee hero. Great instrument. I stand on it myself every morning while brushing my teeth. That the stretching without additional time, you keep stretching. By the way, if you don't know about the stretching strap yet, click here again. You'll get the info for the strap. We also used it today. And you go further and further into your stretch, and then you put pressure on the forefoot as if you want it to stand on your toes. Yes? Stand on your toes more and more. Try that, then you notice that the calf tightens. Then, let go again and move your pelvis a little further forward. Yes, that you can just bear it. Come out slowly. And on the left side, I'll show you on the wall. Then you can hold on a bit. And then you can concentrate better on the stretch. You go up. Now, you can stand on the wall. It doesn't have to be a wall. It can also be a table or a windowsill. Anything where you can control yourself a little bit. Stretch your knee fully. Really stretch it out. Because then you make the calf very supple. Because when we have finished this exercise right now, the pressure is out of the joint because the muscles that are too short don't pull as hard. They are now in check for the moment. And then you can walk in a completely different way. I am very, very sure. Feel free to write comments below and describe how it works for you. But the effect has to be repeated every day until the body rebuilds itself more and more to become a permanent condition. Very important. Therefore, repeat the routine every day. Preferably every morning. It is best to do it directly every morning. Invest 20 minutes for pain-free knee time throughout the day. And again, the next day in the morning. Now, as I'm explaining this, I'm going forward and forward. And now I'm pushing down with my toes, with my forefoot, like I want to stand on the tip of my toes and stand the tip of my foot. A little bit more, a little bit more. The knee stays fully extended and let loose again and keep going in. And once more, I press down again with the forefoot. Press down with the forefoot. 
and let loose and go in a little more. Increase a little more. Increase a little more and slowly back out and see how your knees feel. I think they feel different now. And I would imagine that you would like your whole body to feel different. People always say, so easy. It's going to be so easy. And the more you do exercises like that, the easier it gets. Watch another video and we'll show you more exercises and stretching routines for your knee pain. Join us now. We're waiting for you. Bye.